Hi dear students, you are welcome back to my channel, Edube. Uh, what I'll be sharing with you today are the tricks and tips of passing ICT IGCSE Paper 3. As you know that your Paper 3 actually comprises of only two tasks. The first task is a spreadsheet, while the second one is the web authoring. It doesn't matter which one comes first. Sometimes uh, Cambridge might ask you a question on spreadsheet first, and sometimes it might be web authoring. Now, for the web authoring, uh, you don't need to study everything in web authoring. One of the things you need to focus on are, number one, you need to focus on image because you might be giving some questions on image, on how to edit image, how to rotate image, how to reduce the size of the image, and how to save image as PNG or uh, JPG, or JPG, which is JPEG. So make sure that you know how to edit the image. And one of the famous software we normally use for this one is Paint. Paint is just a very simple software that most of the computer used to have, and I believe in your center as well, so you will have it too. So pay attention, you might be giving some question on this, it normally comes around 4 to 5 marks. So it doesn't worth losing any marks here. Then another thing you might be asked to do in your web offering, of course you know that the software we are using is Microsoft Expression, and this is a very nice software which actually makes things a lot of, uh, which makes things much more easier for you. You don't need to be writing code or whatsoever. Now, in this software, you know, you might be asked to create table, and creating table, make sure you pay attention here. This normally comes around eight marks. And when it comes with eight marks, you can actually get everything correct. You need to know the number of rows and you need to know the number of columns. And make sure you maintain the width as well as the height that you are giving. Then another thing you might be asked to do here is actually to do the default target window. Don't forget the default target uh, window. If you don't know how to do this, then you need to pay attention on how to do this. Then another thing they normally ask here is to ask you to insert images and you might be asked to insert videos. You might be giving some video and they ask you to insert as well as the image. Make sure you pay attention and of course this is quite easy by the way, you just have to click on insert and you can follow the instruction. Then one of the things they normally ask here is what we call the uh, inline style. And this inline style, it normally comes with around, you know, uh, two or three marks. And that's when we need to write style, you need to open the tag, you say style um, equal, style equal with then 100%. And you close this. So this one means whatever the image you are given, even though if the image is very, very big, then it's going to take the width of the TD, which is the table data. Make sure you pay attention to this, this inline style. Then another thing you might be asked to do here is the hyperlink. And to do hyperlink, this one is also quite easy. You just have to right click and you choose hyperlink. And you can hyperlink to another website or you can even hyperlink to email. And second to the last, so don't forget that whenever you insert your image, you need to do the alt, which is the alternate text or alternative text. Make, pay attention to that. That one is also one mark. And finally, the one that most of the students used to struggle with, and that's the sheet, which is the style sheet, which is the CSS, style sheet, CSS. And for this CSS, I'm going to tell you some of the tricks and some of the things you're supposed to pay attention to in this CSS. Now, for the CSS, many students used to think that CSS is extremely quite difficult, whereas it is not. You just have to pay attention to just only a few things. One of the things you're supposed to pay attention to is whenever the question asks you to put a background image or background color. All what you need to do is the selector. So the selector for that is body. Because the question will not even mention anything body. You are the one you need to know. Whenever the question is talking about background, either background image or background color, then the selector is going to be body. So this is body and you can choose your background, whatever it is, if it's background color, you write background color and you can write the color. And for the color, let me quickly tell you something here. Do you see, remember this RGB, right? Red, green and blue. So each one actually represents 2F. If I turn on red, if I turn it on, it means I'm having 2F. Then the remaining one is going to be 0, 0 because I turn them off. What about green? If I turn on green, then it means only green is going to be FF. The remaining one is going to be 0, 0. That's what it means. Then what about blue? Can you tell me what do you think blue will be? I'm going to turn on B, which is FF. Each one represents two Fs. Then these two, I turn them off. So pay attention so to this. Um, hexadecimal color. So do not lose mark here. Then another thing you're supposed to pay attention to here is heading. You see, when you see headings, we do have H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. So you know, for the headings, you might be giving something like text align, and you might be giving something like font size. And finally, don't forget about the table as well. And whenever you are giving table, don't forget that we do have TD. There are some properties that are going to be in the table, something like in all the border. And there are some properties that are going to be in the TD, something uh, something like all the internal grid line. Or whenever you see the question talking about internal grid line, that is going to be in the in the TD, all right? As well as the collapse, as well as collapse. Either border collapse, it is separate or it is collapse. So if you don't know all these things that I'm talking about, it means you need to watch my video. I'm putting the link so on top of this one. Make sure you click on it. So I did another video on paper three 
on CSS and I explain everything in detail so you can actually go through it before your exam so and finally is the comment of course to do comment in CSS very easy all what you need to do is you have your slash then you have star and you write blah 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 you have star again and you have slash so this is how to do comments in css so do not forget this uh, yeah this is all what you need to know as far as css is concerned now let me quickly talk about the spreadsheet so for spreadsheets all what you need to know here are actually the functions the more function you know and you know uh, the better your knowledge of spreadsheet will be and one of if you don't know anything you don't remember anything just remember that you know how to use vlookup this one for sure you will see question here on vlookup and sometimes you might be lucky and be given some question on each lookup as well even though vlookup is very very easy it's easier than each lookup but whichever of the two you are giving in as much as they are in your curriculum make sure you know how to answer these two questions then another one you know are the sum function this one is very easy sum function then count function then average function all these ones are also quite important you need to know how to use them and another one is you might be giving some question on some if all right then count if whenever you see if it means there is a criteria for example you can say count all the number that are greater than 10. greater than 10 that's the criteria i don't say count all the number if you count all the number then that one is just ordinary count but count on all the number that are greater than 10 uh -huh, you will use count if sum all the number but what is the total of all the number here you use sum what is the total of all the number that are less than 12 you use sum if Whenever you are given a criteria, make sure you use either sum if, count if, if it is, if it is average, then you use average if, all right? And finally, don't forget to learn something about the if, if, if function or if statement. This if function is extremely quite important. It's as important as VLOOKUP. You don't know anything, you don't remember anything. Uh, ICT is very difficult, you know, paper three is not that easy. Make sure you maintain, you try to know how to do VLOOKUP as well as um, if function is very important and we do have two type of if we have a simple if and nested if nested if is the one that you need to use a lot of ifs so you can um, so you can play around with this and so you try your best and finally is the table editing in fact i suppose to start with this one because this table editing this is the first thing they normally give and it normally comes around eight marks so make sure you take your time you need to merge you need to you know uh, you need to hide some some columns or some rules then you might be given some background color then you might need to do some text enhancement like maybe in the center some column are in the center in the right take your time don't lose these seven marks okay this is one of the easiest thing even if you are saying that you know spreadsheet is very difficult this is very very easy in spreadsheet so i wish you the best of course spreadsheet is all the spreadsheet your paper tree it actually comes with 70 marks at least at least no matter how difficult it is if you can get 60 out of 70 then that should be very good how much mark do you think you can get here do you have enough confidence now if you don't, then it means your next 48 hours, <laughs> then you need to uh, revise, try to watch some of my videos in which I've already taught you uh, or I've made a lot of videos on how to do spreadsheets as well as web authoring. I wish you the best. A star. Bye.